Welcome back to Let's Play Traitor's Keep, the DLC for Fable 3. I'm kind of pissed because I just missed a pretty good exchange between these two. Uh, Wilton starts off with, To be honest, I'm kind of looking forward to more action. Too many years sitting behind a desk. And the king replies, I know exactly what you mean. Well, let's be off then. Mary Godwin isn't going to arrest herself. I like this Commander Milton. Maybe he can These be the leader of my armies. For years, but there are definite signs of life here. I think we found Mary Godwin's hiding place all right. This place represents everything General Turner despises. Old money, aristocracy, nepotism. You may find when you meet him that you have something in common. You're both revolutionaries. Then why does he want me dead? You stopped being a rebel. You became king. The fact that he's working with Mary Godwin then makes him a hypocrite and a psychopath. Generally an exceptionally poor combination. No books over here. What the f Oh. Good call. Thanks, boy. Oh dear. Just a moment. All right, there we go. Can't even go into the ocean. So he's uh he's just bugged out. Don't worry, he'll get better. Odd thing to put in the middle of the path. The Godwins had curious notions about art. No wonder Witchcraft Mary turned out the way she did. She probably grew up looking at these things. There was a statue of a white balverine in her cell that was suspiciously similar to the one that dude used to uh, become balverine. So that's always a good sign. Hate Wolverines. They're the ones who give me the most trouble. I almost feel like they're watching me. The sooner we get off this island. Oh, those ones are watching you. Those are actually Wolverines. They're obviously not statues. What the hell is wrong with you? What a surprise. They're alive. about this estate housing the world's largest menagerie. If the Godwins were mad enough to keep Balverines, who knows what else we'll find here. Pretty sure it's menagerie. It's 
It's never something a dog would actually dig up. You found a rabbit carcass. You found a bone. Now, what in God's name was that doing there? Celibate hare is also known as monk rabbit. These are the last remaining in existence. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Corpse moths demonstrating at last that butterflies can become zombies too. Well, that's terrifying. Topiary swan, vicious and extremely dangerous. Approach with caution. Oh, it's the bush. <laughs> Topiary. Now I get it. Lol. I don't like that sound. Combustible northern monkeys, highly nervous and prone to exploding at the sight of strangers. Oh. There's the main house. Come on. Witchcraft Mary has to be somewhere to in this it. demented zoo. Let me guess, it's the tree. Calmer chameleons. You won't always be able to sm spot them. They come and go. I do appreciate the sound effects. I know the joke is that there's nothing there. I just wanted to see. Let me guess. Either something that escaped or some variety of ants. Oh god. Jesus. I thought I was bugged out there. That would have been really bad. Predator squirrel, rarely seen or heard until it lands in your shadow uh, shoulder and bites your head off. Well, stupid question. I'd heard her experiments involved electrical currents. They make good deterrents too. We could use something like this to keep. Let's go. There must be a way around them. In reality, it's far more likely she just got that equipment from uh, Professor Faraday once they were working together. It looks more and However, more that like happened. Mary swapped one prison for another. Except she's in charge of this one. She even keeps notes on her subjects. It was clear at the keep that she was an unbalanced woman. But I never realized how much she despised her own humanity. Come on. I'm Treasure. Sure there's much more to see here. Oh, it's the book. There is no more misunderstood creature among the pure than that which others call hollow man. There is nothing hollow about them. They may, in fact, be the most complete being in existence. The one most in tune with the forces of nature. The flickering light that brings dead matter to life. I must harness it for the day of purification. Hmm. Let me just see here. Ha! <clears throat> I thought so. I just, uh, threw the name Mary Godwin into, uh,. Google on my smartphone. Another of the rumors about witchcraft Mary. Necromancy. I never thought there was any truth to it. Someone's definitely been digging up corpses, though. I'm not sure I want to know why. I know why. I thought her name sounded familiar. Mary Godwin was the uh, maiden name of an author much more popularly known as Mary Shelley whose most famous work was Frankenstein. Sand Fury Hood. It's an interesting thing to find on this island. And again, we can't raid the graves.
So yes, she's almost certainly trying to build a man out of corpses. Got to start the timer again after I reconnected to live. I'll just pick a number. I'm guessing this has something. God damned zombies! These are like no hollow men I've ever seen. Much more ancient. They're trying to stay out of the light. What is she thinking, creating Hollow Man? It's against nature. It's obscene. General Turner can't be planning to create an army out of Valverins and Hollow. It's just too preposterous. Weird mechanic. You know, I was thinking the other day. Where did you get the bullets? Uh, zombies in video games don't tend to be an awful lot like, well, zombies. Like, look at these guys. They are attacking me with swords and sickles. They can use guns and uh, I can't imagine what else she's managed to do. We should collect all her research papers. She may belong in a cell. This is science the world has never seen the likes of before. This is magic, you idiot. Come on. Reanimating the dead is magic. This is like Fantasy Tropes 101 here. Oh yeah, the zombies don't really act much like zombies. I mean, these guys are basically, uh... just more different bandits. Wrong button. I think it would tell me every time that I wouldn't get it wrong, but you'd be wrong. Unsightly? What does that mean? Skull white. and the seven corpses. Fury pants. I bet those will look terrible on me. There's a comment. No, there's a reference I've heard a few times. Arsenic and old lace, but I don't actually know what it means. Aww. 
doesn't look like we're getting around these gates. But there must be some way of cutting the power to them. Come to think of it, I never cut the power to that, those gates back on Clockwork Island. Oh. I think I can shut this down. It's not too different to the generator in the keep's torture chamber. Oh, great. Get ready for some company. Keep those things away from you. Oh, God. Ah! And that is why I hate uh, Valkyrie. Son of a... Oh my god, it's a clusterfuck in here. You just keep it up, man. <clears throat> so are they. Wouldn't dodge out of the way or anything. aren't real traditional zombies given that they're not trying to eat me alive and that I'm not the turning into one of them crude nothing like Faraday's technology what's remarkable is how she's managed to get hollow men and balverines to fight side by side I've never heard of such a thing happening before if someone combined that knowledge with Faraday's machines who knows what they could accomplish well that wasn't ominous in the slightest Gotta be a book around here. No. Well, in any event. Because I don't know when I uh, actually started, I will just call it here. I'm Burning Dogface, and this has been another episode of Let's Play Traitor's Keep, the DLC for Fable 3. I'll see you next time when we continue hunting Mary Godwin. And maybe if there's time, go back to Clockwork Island and look for prostitute pants. Yay! <laughs>
<laughs> See you then.